Hi, I'm Doug here at Global West. Thought I'd take a minute here to talk to you about these control arms we have on the table. Now these happen to be for 1982 through 02 S10 two-wheel drive. These happen to be the front lowers. They have a standard spring pocket set up for this. And these are direct bolt-on. What we've done is we've incorporated the Delalume bushing. Now, in other videos, we've talked about the Delalume bushing, and it's a six surface design bushing. I happen to have one here. And you can get an idea what this looks like. It's got an inner rotating sleeve, separate from inner and outer thrust washer. It slides in on housing here. The other thrust washer goes on the other side. And so it's totally isolated. This is what it looks like when it's on the control arm. And of course, there's grease fittings down here so you, you can lubricate the bushing. Like I said, these arms are a direct replacement for stock. They have the bump stops. They come with the sway bar end links, ball joints, of course our dowel on bushings, and then we have this rotating spring pocket. Now this spring pocket, it's probably a little bit tough to see, is actually set up internally here. It's molded to follow the contour of your coil spring. So if you have a situation where you've lowered your S10, let's say you've cut the coil spring, and you have an index up in the frame, but yet the index down in the stock lower control arm is off on the spring, you know, because where you cut it, it doesn't specifically line up properly. With these tubular control arms, this just rotates. So you drop this in, rotate it to where the spring index is in the pocket here, and you're good to go everything is properly indexed. The part number for this is a CTA-22L, and then again, it stands for 1982 through 02 S10s, two-wheel drive. One more thing, this control arm does not lower the car. The pocket isn't dropped. It's for a standard height application, so don't think you're going to get an extra drop out of these control arms or whatever. We deliberately did not build it that way. It's a direct replacement. One more thing you should know about these particular control arms is that in this particular area here, I'm going to tilt this up right through here where the shock comes through. There's a lot of double adjustable shock absorbers that are available and they're a larger body than what the factory used to have. We've accommodated the whole size for the larger diameter shocks. So you don't have to grind on the control arm. In a stock application, you would have to grind that opening to get that type of a shock in place. These here are already built with that larger shock diameter built in. So, CTA 22L, direct replacement on 82 through 02 S10s.